Good morning. Let us today study about the concept of pubescence. What is pubescence? What is pubescence coefficient? What is the physical significance of pubescence? What is the relation between chemical potential, free energy, and pubescence? What is the relationship between free energy chain and pubescence? Okay. First, we will see what is discussed pubescence. For ideal gas. The pressure of a gas is given by P. For ideal gas, the pressure of a gas is given by P. For real gas, there is a deviation from ideal behavior. Therefore, the pressure term is replaced by fugacity. Fugacity is a, a function. Fugacity function was introduced by G. Lewis to represent the pressure of the pressure of a real gas. Pressure of a real gas, the fugacity is nothing but fixed pressure. Okay. For real gases, fugacity function is used. For ideal gases, the pressure is given. Okay. We know from thermodynamics, we know from thermodynamics, the variation of free energy, the change of free energy with respect to change in pressure. Change in free energy with respect to change in pressure at constant temperature is equal to V. This is applied for both real and ideal and real gases. For one mole of ideal gas, P is equal to RT. Therefore, V equal to RT by V on substituting V in this expression and uh, taking DP this side. Okay, therefore, DG at constant temperature equal to V V equal to RT by P and DP. This DP. Therefore, on integrating this equation, on integrating this equation, you will get G minus G naught. That is, uh, this is uh, G naught. This is initial state G naught and final state G. G minus G naught equal to N R T L N P L N P. This is P one, the initial state P one, and the final state is P two. Therefore, P two by P one. G naught, where G naught is the free energy of the gaseous substance. G naught is the free energy of the gaseous substance when the pressure is in unity and the pressure equal to one. For real gases, the fugacity function is used. Okay. Therefore, uh, therefore G equal to G equal to this G naught plus N R T L N F instead of uh, pressure, it is replaced by fugacity function. Okay. For real gases. Therefore, delta G, G minus G naught equal to delta G equal to N naught T L N F2 by F1. That is P2 by P1, F2 by F1. Okay. This is the relationship between the change in free energy and the fugacity of the gaseous substance in state 1 and the fugacity of the gaseous substance in 2. Okay. Now, at low pressure, now at low pressure, the gas, the real gas becomes ideal. Remember, at low pressure, the gas, real gas, begins hiding. Therefore, when pressure tends to zero, when pressure tends to zero, F by P equal to one. Therefore, F by P equal to one. Then F equal to P. F equal to P. That is, the fugacity is equal to the pressure of a gas. Okay, at the low pressure or for ideal gas, for ideal gas, for real gas only, the fugacity function is used. Okay, now let us see fugacity of a gas in a mixture. Let us consider a gaseous mixture. Uh, there are two gaseous components, I to come I gas and J gas. There are two gases. Okay, now for one mole of a pure gas, let us take pure gas, one mole of a pure gas, the free energy of the gaseous system, of the gaseous, the free energy of the component I is equal to the chemical potential. Remember, for one mole of air, pure gas, the free energy is nothing but chemical potential. Both are same. Okay. Therefore, mu i, this is the chemical potential of the pure component, pure component i, uh, of the component i, okay, at the temperature T. Therefore, this G is replaced by mu. G is replaced by mu, mu i equal to mu i naught, n naught t, ln, f i. Okay. 
where f i is the diversity of the ith component. Where L f i is the diversity of the ith component. Now, mu i naught equal to chemical potential of the component i. Where mu i naught is the chemical potential of the component i. At unit viscous fugacity, similar to P and G, G naught equal to P and G of the gaseous substance, and the pressure is equal to unit T. Here, similar to fugacity is equal to unit T. Now, what is fugacity coefficient? It is represented by letter gamma. For real gas, for real gas, F by V equal to gamma. It is not equal to one. See, for ideal gas, F by V equal to one. For real gas, F by V equal to gamma. Therefore, F equal to gamma P. The fugacity of a gas is directly proportional to the pressure of a gas. The fugacity of a gas is directly proportional to the pressure of a gas, where gamma equal to one for ideal gas. Okay. So the fugacity coefficient is defined as the fugacity to the pressure of a gas, to the pressure of a gaseous substance. Okay, now let us see the physical significance of fugacity. What is the physical? There are three important points. Remember, let us take water, water in a big air, water in a vessel. Okay, at equilibrium, second point, at equilibrium, liquid is in equilibrium with vapor. For example, liquid, liquid water is in equilibrium with vapor molecule. Okay, now liquid, when liquid is converted into vapor, it is called vaporization. Evaporation, it is called evaporation, and when vapor is converted into liquid, it is called condensation. Now, next to point, liquid molecules, liquid molecules at the surface will have the tendency to escape from the liquid state to vapor state. That is called evaporation. Similarly, vapor molecules will have the tendency to escape from the vapor state to the liquid state. That is called condensation. Okay, that is the second. Third point. Next, each substance, therefore, it is now generalized. It is now generalized. Each substance in a given state will have a tendency to escape from its state. Each substance in its present in its given state has a tendency to escape. For example, liquid molecules in a given state, liquid state, has a tendency to escape to vapor state. Similarly, therefore, each substance in a given state has a tendency to escape. The mid state is called fugacity. The escaping tendency, the escaping tendency of um, uh, the escaping tendency of the gaseous substance of the substance in its state in a, in its state is called fugacity of the gaseous substance or fugacity of the substance. Okay. So next, uh, yeah, equilibrium, equilibrium. The chemical potential of the liquid water is equal to the chemical potential of the vapor, vapor water, water. Therefore, when this, this are equal, when this and this are equal, then F, Fl equal to Fb. That is the frequency of the liquid water is equal to the frequency of the vapor water. Okay. So, it may be asked in one more question, please remember at equilibrium. The chemical potential of li liquid water, because in equilibrium, in any equilibrium state, is equal to the chemical potential of water vapor. Okay. Therefore, the fugacity of liquid water is equal to fugacity of the vapor. Okay. Thank you for watching.